Welcome, fellow moving targets. <laughs> Before we start our engines, I'd like to discuss a little dilemma I'm having. I discovered, after naming my blog, that there's a punk alternative band called Moving Targets. They released their first record in 86, oddly at the same time I was working in the record business. I'd never heard of them, so I guess they were either pretty obscure, or I have to admit to being one of the eternally uncool. We are uncool. Anyway, I realized that nine times out of ten, when you search the name Moving Targets on YouTube, you get a video of that band. I'd like to just change my blog title a bit by adding a word before or after the phrase moving targets. If any of you would like to pitch in with an idea and I fall in love with your suggestion, I'll send you a gift as a prize. So we'll deal that with that uh, along the way. So just be forewarned that the title of my blog might change a little bit in the future. Now, on to our video. Uh, here's where we're at. We're just circling back a little to the month of September and taking up where we left off on our Italian adventure. After leaving the Piemonte wine region, we're visiting a new northern lake location we've never been to, Lago di Garta. We arrived at sunset and checked into our friendly hotel run by a very dynamic and helpful manager, Oreste. He gave us great suggestions for dining out and visiting in the area. For example, did you know that Prosecco is from the Garda region? That's one of my favorite sparkling wines. This out, guys. We've discovered a new cocktail. <laughs> Not discovered, it's already been discovered, but we never saw it before. And it's called a Hugo. Caprese, patate fritte, ma capricciosa. Yes. You're perfect. No, così. Va bene così. Grazie. Prego, signor. Check that guy out. Cute, right? I don't think he's married either. Um, yeah, oh, never mind. He's probably got two cute little kids. So, anyway, the Hugo is made of Sambuco, elderflower syrup, Sambuca, elderflower syrup, seltzer, prosecco, ice, pieces of lemon and lime, and mint. And it's very refreshing. It's not bitter at all, like a Aperol Spritz. I think it was invented around here in the South Tyrol, and people are really digging it at this place. See, I see it over there, too. So, I guess we're going to take it home <laughs> and improvise. I've always thought that the best way to really check out a place is by going to the top of the highest point in the area and uh, taking a good look around, 360 if you can. So we discovered a ski-like lift that went up to the highest mountain called the Monte Baldo in the area, and um, we opted to go up there. Turned out to be quite a, a nice place. I just wish that the, uh, the air was a little clearer. It was uh, pretty hazy that week.
been to Venice many times in our travels, and this year we came for a predetermined reason. Our friend Davide has recently been playing with a wonderful group called Interpreti Veneziani, so we were going to see them perform. I met Davide when he was a soloist with an orchestra I play with in New York. He was performing the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto at that time, and from the first notes I heard, I fell in love with his artistry. We made friends and have stayed in touch on and off since that first concert, and whenever there's an opportunity to meet up with him, I run. Upon arrival in Venice, we settled into our hotel, walked around to soak up a little local color, and then made our way over to San Vidal, a 17th century church where the group was performing. <laughs> <laughs> 